Hi, I'm Bob with Property Armor and I'm here to discuss what's the best way to measure for an air conditioning cage. Uh, we've been in business since 2003 and that's no accident and we, we know what we're doing and so we're here to kind of guide you through it. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is get on our website if you haven't already, www.propertyarmor.net. Click on the air conditioning cages page, look through the different models and styles we have and choose the one that uh, attracts you. The second thing you're going to want to do is measure your unit. Um, we measure the units left to right, which is the width, front to back, which is the depth, and then bottom to top, which is the height. Uh, so the width, depth, and the height of the unit is what's important to us to move to the next step. Uh, the brand and the, the model and all that, uh, it's not very helpful to us because it's the physical dimensions that we're looking for. Uh, once you determine that, the next thing is the pad, because that's the second part of this equation. I mean, they work together uh, as a set. Um, you'll have to measure the pad and then tell us what the pad is made of, because you have plastic pads, you have poured concrete pads, and then you have concrete pads that look like they're poured, but they're basically a veneer over foam. Uh, and you can tell that by one or two ways. You can reach up under it and feel and if you can feel the foam. Or it's, if the technician brought it with him when he installed the unit, chances are it's not a poured slab. Uh, most of them aren't that strong. Uh, so once you determine that, then the next step is determining how much space is around the unit to actually anchor a cage to. Uh, this one is real close. I would judge this one because of this side here as not being able to anchor to the pad. So you'd have to anchor into the ground. If your unit looks something similar to that, well, there's absolutely no space to anchor a cage to, so this one certainly is going to go into the ground. And contrast that with something that looks similar to that, where it looks like there's concrete all the way around it, and you would have, you know, you could anchor the, the cage right to the concrete. Well, once you've determined uh, all these factors, then on our website, uh, there's a menu that goes left to right, it's white, and in the middle of that, there's a button that says Get Started. And if you click on that button, on the top left, you're going to see a PDF form that says Residential, and if you click on that, you're going to get a page that looks like this. Whoop, upside down. Looks like this. And in here, you'll have the width, depth, and height, just like we discussed, and then you'll have the dimensions of the pad, and then what the pad is made out of. And then you'll fill in the values of that, go down here, put a check next to the cage that uh, you liked, uh, and then get this back to us. Because with that information, we can make a determination of what application is going to fit best and then make you a cage that's going to fit like a glove. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, call us 855-858-5757 if you have any questions. We're here to help. Thank you.